Hey guys, it's Pip here. So, just a quick video um, about making a choice. So, I want to talk to you about this because making a choice on your life is something that will really determine your future. And so often when we're in the middle of things, we can't see the right choice for us. Um, I often find that there's the right choice and the easy choice, and then there's the right choice for us, which is could be either or, really. Um, so yeah, it's making the right choice. I have come to a point where I need to make a decision and maybe you're at this crossroads. This is why I want to bring it to you today. So a bit about me, what what choice am I making? Well I'm currently making a decision whether to go back to doing my own business or not, which is a huge decision, especially for someone who, uh, young like me who uh, doesn't have that much business experience, uh, probably doesn't have in, that much funding. Um, I had quite a year this year, I left my job in uh, February, so left my stable secure uh, wage packet because I wanted more out of life and I wasn't getting the training that I felt I deserved. Um, and basically went through a series of jobs, uh, some self-employed that failed, worked for a restaurant which was really badly organised, caused me a lot of anxiety because I didn't know when I was working, um, even on bank holidays, which was um, really not the way to run a business. Um, as I say, I don't know much about business, but I can tell you that's not the way to do it. Um, and eventually came to be a living carer. So from all this time, I have given up my business uh, that I started because I no longer believed that it was worth it, it was too much investment uh, financially and time-wise. I didn't have a stable structure, I had plenty of other priorities on my mind, um, i.e. the bills and the mortgage. And because I kept trying, um, especially when I was at the restaurant, I knew I had to get out of that situation. Um, I've come to a point where I've been offered a job back at my home, um, or my home area, which will give me um, basically two weeks on, two weeks off, and so I could invest the two weeks off doing business, um, going back to that, and it would pay me enough, um, which is a complete miracle to be offered that, really, um, and would give me a lot more structure, which is what I need to be able to create the space to to, to uh, build a business, to do the things that I need to do, um, and so create the lifestyle that I want to create, which is basically not a life of uh, fast cars and houses but basically a life of um, having peace in my heart and, and having stability really. Um, I was watching an amazing documentary, um, well a film I by yesterday who used to be homeless, he was talking about homelessness and it was uh, set in Bristol and there was some very very young people there, uh, people uh, at my age in their twenties, uh, one lad a lot younger than me, only seventeen, who had been homeless by the time he he had taken his GCSEs, um, and you know it was funny watching this film because these people were not necessarily bad people; they'd just fallen into uh, a way of life through situation and circumstance, and it can happen to anyone. I mean, incredibly, by the end of the series, the seventeen-year-old had made a decision to go back to college which is when you have no home to no home address to sign on from it is completely incredible no fees to afford it no clothes to attend your lectures in no pencils no paper no internet connection to do your work no printer to print your work off you know no nowhere to keep books safe because you're in a tent they might get stolen um you know no food to help you concentrate it was incredible and What I think I really want to say today is that if you if you know what it is you want, you don't give up, it will come back to you. So that's all from me and um, I wish you best of luck in whatever you're doing and um, please let me know where you are in your life. Um, I have certainly struggled this past year and I really want you to know that it is possible. I remember doing a video in my car when I was at this restaurant, not knowing when I was working next. Um, saying to people don't give up don't give up don't give up because it is possible and if you listen to people like les brown brendan bouchard all the greats they've come through some awful stuff um you know les brown was at one point living and sleeping on his office and got a letter saying please don't do this because he had no home to go to and um, really terrible stuff so 
don't be afraid to get inspired um, take your time um, please know that things that might be suitable for one person are not suitable for another so it's all from me and I'll see you next time bye now